of God's glory. Because God's will is fair with the human race. And you see there are thousands of plants out there. And all those plants are all of God. But of all plants in the whole universe, the whole universe stands in all of the world of God. But God showers on this little planet called the Earth. And we are the only and imaginable people who live on the other planet wonder why doesn't God keep this planet of rebellion out of his oblivion? We are the only planets, as far as I know, that are in rebellion against God. And yet, in spite of our rebellion, in spite of our disobedience, and in spite of our sins, God loves us. And that is the feeling thing about us. And God loves every person in the whole world with a love that is beyond our comprehension. And God proved His love by giving His Son to die on the cross. And if you have a doubt that God loves, look at the cross. Because God was in Christ, reconciling the whole world unto Himself. And God, and that is the greatest illustration of love in the whole world the cross. Because God was saying in the cross, I love you, I love you, I love you. You see, I am there. We are saved by the cross. Our Lord loved us so much that He gave His only Son to die on the cross. Love, now love is not a feeling. You say, I feel a love. Love is doing. Love is God did something for us. God gave His love. God commanded His love towards us. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The Apostle John, in the cross, said, Behold, what manner of love the Father has put on us. And when you look at the cross and think about it, God, think about it. The Roman seemed the instrument of execution on Colossus came put the nails in the hands, and spies on the feet, and have it on the people, and mutilate the bodies. And the most celebrated <coughs> in the whole universe is the death on the cross. And our Lord was hanging there with the most proud, making fun of him. And he was hanging there for you, for you, and you. And God was saying, I love you. 